The expansion of Islam. Taking a look at the map here of the Islamic Empire, everything begins down here in the two cities of Mecca and Medina. And if you look at the map, you can see the arrows essentially spread like a starburst from Mecca and Medina out across the territories. Things I want you to pay attention to. First of all, Muhammad is able to capture the western side of the Arabian Peninsula during his lifetime. So this dark orange area is the first to spread to Islam. But in just the next 30 years, roughly, the orange area is added to the empire, and that is to spread all the way out through northern Africa, up through the, what we would consider uh, Israel and the Middle East today, north into Asia through northern Iraq and Iran as well, up into what is now modern Afghanistan, and all along the rest of the Arabian Peninsula. So it's a huge amount of territory in only 30 years. And we're going to look at why that happened so quickly on the next page. Finally, add in the purple area, the Umayyad Caliphs push across the rest of northern Africa and into Spain. And finally, adding just a little bit more in Asia, in what is Afghanistan, and pushing towards India. So let's look at the next page, talk about why this happened so fast. All right. Well, there's a few things that led to the quick expansion of Islam. So we're going to use a cause and effect brain frame here. And we've got the expansion of Islam is the event that we want to explain. So now we're looking at the causes. Why did this happen so fast? Well, first of all, in Persia and the Byzantine Empire, what they ran into were weak opponents. Uh, and so there just wasn't that much that they had to do to defeat them. Nope, I was, there I am writing weak. So Persia and the Byzantine Empire are weak already. So this event causes this event. I also, uh, the Muslims were known as great warriors. They had tremendous physical skill on the battlefield. So they are great warriors. Obviously this is going to help because most of their conquest was done uh, certainly under Umar, uh, with, the, with the sword as a military conquest. Um, one of the things that Islam offered for the new areas was that it often worked to fix their problems. Islam fixed problems. For example, uh, high taxes, um, other areas that were being run uh, without strong governments, uh, without a lot of structure, Islam could come in and work pretty well to smooth these things out. Um, again, we talked about this in class, but Islam was simple. Uh, people liked it. So when the Muslim warriors came through, a lot of people chose to convert. They just didn't wait to be conquered. Um, and, and one of the things that it offered, uh, if you remember, we'll put a little thought bubble off here, was it also offered people equality, and that was something that was appealing to them. <clears throat> um, finally, the conquered people were treated really well. They didn't look to destroy their enemies. They looked to take their enemies and make them part of a new society where they were valued and where they would be uh, welcomed. All right, and that's going to be sort of our last event over here. Uh, when you look at the big picture, this is why Islam is able to expand so fast. All right, because um, part of it is the good, the good things they're doing, like great warriors, um, providing a simple lifestyle and providing one that fixed their problems, as well as external factors like the fact that the Persian uh, and Byzantine empires were already weak. So they didn't offer a lot of resistance. Bottom line, Islam expands super fast. Uh, it's really amazing.